Hi everybody, Carrie Bauckham here. Welcome back into my classroom. Super excited. Happy Wednesday. Um, this is day three of my five for five challenge to vlog every day for five days. So let's get started. Today kind of awoke and re-reminded re me of the importance of this idea, this thing, this task, this, um, this type of learning. Today we're in my ELA class and we've been reading about Malcolm X and the students are really fascinated with his life and his story. And the piece in the ELA material shares, um, takes us through Malcolm X's time in jail and how he taught himself to learn to read and to write. And as we're talking about Malcolm X, my students started to have all these questions. And I had to decide that I want to stop and answer all these questions for them. Or did I want to take this moment and use it as an opportunity to teach them how to wonder? Now, wondering in my classroom is not an old skill for my students. It is a muscle that we flex often. In my social studies class, this idea of having wonders started at the beginning of the year when we would watch um, CNN student news, and my students would question after question after question, and I was like, geez, that's a lot of questions. I found myself giving them a lot of information rather than, rather than teaching them how to get the information themselves. So we came up with this idea called Project Wonder, following your curiosity. So now, at this point in the year, my students are used to, if they have a question or a wonder, they, or if they have a question, they will hear me say, is that a wonder? And if they answer yes, I write it on a post-it note and put it up here on the board. And it stays up there until our designated wonder day in my social studies class. Students will come up here, pull off a post-it note, and then there's a Google Doc that I have that supports them and scaffolds the, scaffolds the process. And it's their job to find out information and answer that wonder. Well, this Malcolm X moment just really reawoke re and re-reminded me of the importance of letting students have wonder. But even more than that, the, the power and um, the learning that can come from taking a question and going out into the universe, whether it's the library or Google, or talking to somebody and asking a question, the power that comes from teaching our students how to teach themselves. So as we look into our lessons, we look into the moments in our classrooms, do our students have permission to question things? Do our students have um, permission to wonder? Do your students wonder and you don't even know it? Is there moments of your lessons, moments of information, that are holes in what they don't know. And do they have an opportunity to share that with you? And then if they do share it with you, where does it go from there? Are you the one giving them the information or are they gonna be expected to seek it out? And when they do, have we taught them the skills so that when they leave our educational system or even your classroom, do they have the skills that are gonna, that are gonna allow them to find the answer to anything All right, you guys, that's it for today. Later, guys.